all right welcome to my youtube channel this is is best to talk and what i do is i solve technical drawing problems and also provide very important information that you can make yourself for you to have a better performance in your technical drawing examinations you are watching my video for the first time uh, i want to ask you to subscribe to this youtube channel put on the notification bell and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students and very important you need to practice this subject is a practical subject you need to practice it so that you can master it right now what i want to do here now i want to show you how to draw a cylinder how to construct a cylinder that's what i want to show you here for us to construct a cylinder you need two isometric circles that you connect together for you to have is uh, have the cylinder so i'm going to show you how to do that here right now so the first thing that we need to do we need to construct isometric squares so um and just look at the way i'm going to do it so here you draw a horizontal line here you draw a horizontal line as you can see here then, and with our 30 degree cell square our 30 degree cell square so we draw a line in this direction and we also draw a line in this direction so let's say the diameter of the isometric circle that we are going to use is 50 millimeters so from this point i will take a measurement of 50 millimeters so 50 millimeters to this side and here also i will take a measurement of 50 millimeters then here i will construct an isometric square so i need to draw a line from this point to this side then i will turn it here and i will draw this line okay so now so i'm going to divide this into two so 25 so 50 by 2 that is 25 so this is 25 okay and i'll also divide this into two Okay, so this is 25. So I will draw this line from this point. From this point here, I will draw this line to this side. And I will also transfer this to this side. All right, so uh, I've drawn the line from here to here, and I've drawn the line from here to here. So and I've labeled the point on the on the on the line so this is point a this is point b c d this is e f g h very important as i label it so just pay attention so the next thing that we are going to do is that i need to construct an isometric circle but i'm not going to construct the whole of isometric circle i only need half of it so connect point or the longest diagonal b d together like this so connect this together so connect this together and then so you connect this point a to h so join a h together like this and you join a g together so uh, for this down part i only need the circle that is half of the circle around here so you see what i'm going to do now so what you need to do now is to put the pinpoint to your compass at this point so let me call this point this is point one and this is point two this is point three and this is point four if you are to con construct the whole of isometric circle so put the pinpoint of your compass at one let me start with one and you extend it to this point so put it at one extend it to this point here so this is it so you extend it to this point and he here and you draw from here to here like this so draw from here to here and then you put it at two here so and you draw so draw from here to here like this okay so you stop with it then you put it at this point so extend it here to point f here and you draw from here to here like this okay so with what we have done here that this is all that i need here because i'm constructing a cylinder so you should know that we only see the down part you see the 
part of it so the other part at the back you are not going to see that will be hidden from us that's what i'm trying to do here so then the upper part so we still need to construct an isometric square up here so from this point so you draw a vertical line from this point b here so draw a vertical line here and from point a also draw a vertical line and from point d draw a vertical line like this draw a vertical line so let's say the height of the uh, cylinder is 60 millimeters so here i will take a measurement of 60 millimeters so 60 millimeters from here so this is 60 millimeters so i need to construct an isometric square here also so from this point so i will draw a line from here to here and here i will draw a line from here and from this point so i will draw a line so I'll draw a line down here and i will turn it here like this so i draw this line All right, so the next thing to do is that after we have drawn this isometric square so uh, for the midpoint just transfer this point so draw it up here like this and for this side you come here you draw a vertical line from here so we have the midpoint so what i need to do now is to transfer uh, this point so i transfer it to the other hand to this side then I'll also transfer this, transfer it to this side like this. So then so the next thing I'm going to do is that I will join. So if I label this, so let me label it. So I've labeled the point. So this is A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, and H1. So now I will join. I will join uh, D1 and B1 together like this. So join them together like this then i will join a1 with h1 and a1 with g1 then so c1 with e1 c1 with e1 like this and c1 with f1 so like this okay so i've gotten the point so this is point one and this is point two this will be point three and this is point four so the next thing i'm going to do is to put the pin part on my compass here i will extend it and draw an arc like this okay then i'll put at this point put it here and I will draw an arc like this okay all right so the next is that I will put the pinpoint on my compass here at this point I will extend it here then I will draw an arc from here like this okay then I will put it here so touches this point then I will draw an arc like this. All right, so so I've drawn the top isometric circle. So the next thing I'm going to do is that you need to pay attention to this. So this point here, this point here, we have to connect it to this point, and this point here, we have to connect it with this point. So this is what I mean. So if I connect this point together, if I connect this point with this point. Make sure it is straight. Okay, then I will also connect these together like this. All right, so you can see the isometric cylinder. So this is how to construct an isometric cylinder or a cylinder as I've shown it here. So all you need to do is to practice it. When you practice it, you master it. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. God bless you.